This is Phyllis from Hasseline Software, and I will be giving an overview of our safeties. Um, essentially, our safeties are uh, used for uh, either defensive or offensive uh, strategies. Uh, more, they're more typically used with defensive. Um, but basically, these are um, kind of like uh, conditions or um, different algorithms that uh, are not um, indicators. Basically, these work by um, kind of checking the price, and if um, if a safety is uh, you know activated, so say if I'm running like a dynamic drop loss and uh, the price hits that drop loss price, um, the bot will immediately sell, and um, as long as that safety is active, it'll disable all other trading that's not um, happening within a safety. So um, this is useful um, for. A multitude of reasons, but um, um, yeah, so I can basically go through um, the safeties that um, are available um, really depend on the license type. If you have a, a beginner license, then the uh, the available safeties will be uh, somewhat limited. Um, for the uh, simple license, you'll have most of all of them, if not all of them, or uh, and if you have the advanced license, you have all of them. So, um, for instance, like say if um, I'm running a dynamic drop loss, um, and I set it to say 99% over four hours, um, you can go ahead and do that. Run a little back test on it, and if you can see, I know the line is a little bit uh, dark, but uh, at the very bottom, around uh, 232.53, um, is the uh, calculated. Um, dynamic uh, drop loss. So if the price were to go below this, um, uh, then the bot will sell and it will disallow trades from indicators. Um, and uh, it does, and they're not influenced by um, insurances either. So if you have like say overcome fee cost, this is not going to, um, you know, uh, the, it's not going to matter for this. So, um, but this is useful though, because say if you have an indicator that's not so good at like selling um, you know, before a uh, big drop is going to happen, but it's really good at picking those buy signals. Uh, then you can use this in case there is a big big drop in the price, it'll sell. Um, and then once the price is kind of stabilized, or if it's gone up, then um, you know this safety will no longer be active, and then the indicator can go ahead and uh, buy. So um, obviously, each each safety is um, a little bit different. Uh, dynamic drop loss is good for that. Dynamic roof in is kind of the opposite of it. So if the price rises by um, you know the value that it's set it to you over, over that period of time, it will buy. It's very useful um, uh, to have in case there's a massive you know uptrend that just comes out of nowhere. Um, and then dynamic roof out um, is like roof in, but instead of buying, it'll sell. So if there's a big pump, you know you can try to um, you know sell at the top. Um, force bot to bot position. Um, that's kind of a special one that's used for like two bot configurations. Um, I won't really go into that now. Um, and yeah, and the rest of them, then you have the static versions of the draw loss, roof in and roof out. So um, obviously this list might change. Um, this is as of Hasbot 2.2.1, uh, but we constantly add you know new safeties, indicators, and insurances. So um, this will probably be outdated uh, sometime in the future. But yeah, that's generally how they work. Um, you can read about it more on our wiki, or if you have any questions, you can um, you know, reach us on our forums or shoot us an email. Well, good luck and happy trading.